How about you, Hank? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley over there with me. Today we're going to take off the stand and dine fuel injection pump off the Lowell. Going to send it off to area diesel service, let them rebuild it, and uh, go from there. So we'll get it taken off, get the injector lines taken off, time it on the other side, and let area diesel do what they do best. I'm telling you, we've been using area diesel for a while. If you need something done right and fast, ship your stuff to area diesel, man. I'm telling you, those guys, the customer service is out of the world, and what they do for their with their products is, is excellent. Uh, not a paid sponsorship, by the way. Let's get this uh, off and sent to those guys. Over on the other side, you have what they... This is a... I don't necessarily think it's called an inspection, how you doing, but... Uh, you take this off. Let me go get a screwdriver. You can see the flywheel, and I think you take this nut off too. Wiley will know more about that when he gets over here. But I think that's where you plug it to time it. So let me get that off. What's awesome about this is the tire is right in your way. There you go. There's the little plug for the cover. And as you can see, the flywheel in there. You can see that, hopefully, you can see the timing marks, but we're going to take that bolt off underneath it as well, just in case. That bolt should be, uh, I don't know, three quarter. Yeah, three quarter. Let me get a flashlight and look in there. I'm not sure. Let me stick a screwdriver in there and see if there's a hole that comes around. When I turn the flywheel, we'll see if there's a hole that goes, goes in there. <clears throat> All right. Like. Yeah, I think maybe you, you can stick a screwdriver in there once the hole makes its way around. Let me turn. I'll turn the crank if you want to turn the. If you want to uh, put the screwdriver in here, you know. And then there's. I'm guessing there's a hole. Here, you want this? Um. All right, do you want to turn the crank, sir? You turn the crank, sir. Here. Well, I'm not. I mean, I ain't trying to get up all in your personal yeah, space. You, but you can do it all this together. You can turn and hold the pressure, and I film. <laughs> Just put this screwdriver in there and turn the. Oh, let me get a bigger screwdriver. Uh, you wanted me to go in there with that little one. Can you turn it? I don't know yet. That, everything's in the way. Of course you can. I see it turning. You, you did? Yeah. I I've seen the alternator turn. I didn't feel it. Well, you are. That's easier with a socket, dude. Let me just get under here with a socket. This little extension right here, huh? Oh my gosh, grab your tools when you get out to your job, <laughs> son. <laughs> All right, you're gonna have to do the. Uh... I'm waiting on you. <laughs> you're gonna have to do the screwdriver. Ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, I feel it turning. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. You gonna go back? Just a tad. All right, come forward. One second. Just. Okay. All right, Hank. That it? That's it. Cool. All right, now we need a bolt long enough to run in there and jam. This I'm, is to make sure it don't move. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid my wife would come out here and jump on it and be like, I want to drive this forklift around. Well, no, no. <laughs> anyway, while she was driving around, <laughs> we lost time. Okay. So now... We, you, so we got to run to store. We got some other stuff to no, get for the. No, no. We can take the fuel pump off, can't we? All right. I'm assuming that's right, cause it. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what it's for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Take my wrenches around to the other side. This morning, we've been uh, putting the hydraulic cylinders on. So we got that finished up. The hydraulic cylinders here, but now we're going to plumb them. For, I'm going to drain all the hydraulic fluid, plumb it, and then cycle them through a couple times, but. That's in a different video. Sir! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they should be in there. They're coming after the low. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, right there's the it's yeah. these two flathead screws. Right. And you can see it that they should line up. They should. Did you uh, bring that little screwdriver by chance? I got what? Yeah, that was it. That worked. Now the timing marks should line up on this. I don't even know why I bother put my hands there. They're still rolling out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's. that's All right, you got to unscrew the top. Right, the not done yet. Where's the Where's the flashlight? I was going to show the. Oh, <laughs> good gosh! <laughs> uh, what y'all didn't see is about me poke out while his eyeball out. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, now this should come off. Might take your screwdriver. Yeah, it's gonna drop on the ground. <laughs> Told you. It wouldn't have. Okay. If you would have done it correctly. There's a rubber gasket on there. Is that where that is? I think so. Yeah. Okay. All the fuel's coming out of it. Yeah, plenty of fuel. I see some marks. You see, I see the marks on the right side. I think they lined up. I don't see the one on the left side though. No. Like I said, they both turn. It looks like big old three eighths, five eighths holes for this thing. It's magnifying. Should have already seen a line hang. Oh, oh, come back a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Little bit, little bit. Whoa. Come up just a grunt. Like the same direction I was just going? Yeah, just, I'm talking about a... Nope, the other way. The other direction okay. he was just going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come look and see if you think this is the mark. Okay, and, let, and then I'll see if the... Yeah. Since you're the timing expert. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it, don't it? Yeah. So the telltale sign would be if I stick a screwdriver in there and there's it's, it goes in a hole. Mm -hmm. hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, okay. The telltale. And it is not. Okay. Let me call. Let me call somebody. All right, let me let me explain to y'all what we're doing. So the two marks are lined up on the other side, but we don't have a hole in the flywheel on this side. So we're going to keep turning until we find another hole, then go back and see if those uh, marks are lined up on the fuel pump. You good? Yeah. All right. Nope. It's only the silver piece, the one on the left. The other one don't turn. That's correct, yeah. All right, gonna keep turning. We'll try it one more lot. See if that. All right. If this one's not it, then we've got to figure something else. Well, we'll just line the marks up. Call it, call it good. There's nothing else to do with it. Well, like you say, if you're not going to turn the motor, I don't know if you need to time it. Ow. You getting on the compression? Yeah, side, I sure am. All right, I'm in there. All right, let's look in there. Take another look. Why would they put multiple holes in the flywheel? I don't think they did, I ain't. I think we're good. Really? Nope. I can't tell. Let me, I think so. Let me get my magnifying glass. Oh, ow, ow. <laughs> yeah, look at Awesome. That. Okay, Hank, if you you think you need to turn it back just to tell Yeah, you? I think so, don't you? Yeah. I've turned so many times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want y'all to see what I see. So you can see how the... Right? Yeah. I can't move it with the screwdriver in there. Yeah, you can. You, you come back the opposite way you was turning. Whoa, whoa, perfect. All right. Perfecto. Okay, cool. All right, so she's timed. 
I'm telling you what, we some injector spats, the injector sponge <laughs> pass I'm too. telling you. And this fuel pumps worked on? We, we, we INJ certified. <laughs> oh yeah, it's perfect. Okay. All right, now that we removed the pump. Brother James needed it. Yeah. Shout out to my brother-in-law for helping us do that. Talk bad about him, way you? Yeah, I know, and I shouldn't talk bad about him. He's my brother-in-law. Shouldn't do that. He's my brother. Really? Hank, are you leaving the, this on there? Oh, we can pick it off for easy access, huh? Yeah. Maybe. Any that hammer? What'd I do with my hammer? It's coming. Where's the hammer? <laughs> I don't know. You remember putting it back in the truck? Piece of wood or something. Uh, probably it's in the back if I moved it. And bring your magnet to us right there. Anything? Yeah. Come on with it. Another half inch. Come on. You're doing it's, it's going. You know there's nails on that board that I didn't see. That's a different size. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let me take pictures of it. Of what? How the springs go back on the throttle and stuff. Jeez. Does that have a washer on it, like a copper washer? It did. That's the plug to the other side. Hmm? The, the other side? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure they'll send us new washers. How are you gonna put that back on? My goodness. I don't know, I'm gonna be sick that day. <laughs> I hear you. Where do I? He on a bender. <laughs> Some suckers. Went coming off. Man, this is really taking one off. You can't even see. Yeah, getting it back on is going to be awesome. I think it's one whole hack, it just has to turn around. So many revolutions for it to make a. You don't even know what revolutions mean. Uh huh, the revolution. You know. Yeah, that's gonna be a nice one. <laughs> Can't even get it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's going to be easy. Right up top. Mm -hmm. Hey, were those copper washers uh, underneath the fuel lines or underneath the bolt head? Oh, they're underneath the fuel line. I don't even know they're copper washers, but I think so. No, you had pliers, didn't you? Yeah, I went and got needle on this one. Probably need a new one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Surely you'll buy a new one of those. Those two boats. Okay, uh, let me let me. Should we identify that one that was on the bo the bottom spring before we do all that? Huh? Which spring was on bottom? It don't matter. That just hell. That, they they put that on there themselves because the spring was. Okay. They just that, that that that's not a factory. I don't think this is like a. I think this comes off the studs. These are just bolts. I mean nuts. I hope so. Let me tell you how impressive this is, right? Most people can't even do this with two hands. We're doing it with one hand holding the camera, the other. <laughs> what are you doing, woman? Boss lady's out here. I'm glad you weren't talking about her then. Boss lady's out here. Let me get that. I know. Might be able to. Well, bottom down if you want to them. Yeah. I was afraid of that. What is it? Like shivering afraid? <laughs> um, I've got a crow's foot. So, uh, I think that was loose. Did you get on that? Uh-uh. But we got to have something to get on that. Will a socket not fit on it? It may. Just about got it now. Yeah, there. Nice, very nice. You put this green one on, didn't have that tight. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Pick up on the back of it again. Hold on a sec, I think it's catching on this nozzle or whatever you call it. I'll try that. Alright, there you go. Got the bottom one off. Not, not too terrible. Get in here, here. Just, you know, I'm just going to feed it through the traffic there. I know that's not right. Yeah. There ain't no way that's right. What's that? That it splines on a big shaft like that. Hang on, Hank. <laughs> Have you ever? Ain't the guts are coming out of it. You free now? Yeah. Come back. Oh, there's the key right there. Huh? That's the key. Try not to turn it, okay? No. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it will or not, but... Okay, that's why those... Yeah. Easy cheesy. I didn't know that. Hi. There you go. Okay. We're going to box this up and get it sent off. One minute, 37 seconds later. So today we're going to get the, uh, the fuel pump finally come back from Area Diesel Service. So they rebuilt it. So the problem with the with the... Um, with the pump was it had a cracked flex ring in it and if you think about what the owner told me he said that uh, sometimes it act like it would run out of fuel well that's because that flex ring was cracked and it wouldn't allow the the meter and valve and all that stuff to stay in the current you know in the correct position so area diesel service hooked us up so they actually got a video on their channel of them rebuilding this pump if you want to go check it out I'll link it right here but anytime you have uh, any type of diesel work that you need done, I mean, they've got rebuild kits from everything from 7.3 power strokes to, you know, D11 Caterpillars or whatever. But, And then they were nice enough to send us this, uh, what is this, a fender? Covers your fenders, I guess. But anyway, Area Diesel Service. We really like those guys. They work a lot with a, with a bunch of YouTubers. So go check them out. Tell them, tell them Hamiltonville Farm sent you. But today we'll get the pump put on. We got Jeff with us, got Wiley with us, and uh, and we'll get this thing. In this video, this thing should be running again. Hank, what has five toes and it's not your foot? What has five toes and it's not your foot? I don't know. My foot.
Okay. No, it, uh, no, it, no, it, no it's you not started. a competition. You started. Hey. You can't Everything's start. a competition. No, you can't start. You can't vault. We got to. Do you vault. not read your comments? Uh uh-uh. uh. You need to read them. Oh yeah. Yeah. They think your jokes are better. Yes. Oh my, come on. It's all in the delivery. Mm-hmm. It's all in the delivery. What's? I'm gonna give you one. What is? What is brown? Hard, long, and looks like a stick. A stick. A stick. <laughs> All right. Okay. Do y'all want to start putting the pump on while I take this stuff off? And what stuff off? I'm going to take that hydraulic thing out and try to get it. And while y'all are putting the pump on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the best time management here. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I really, I mean, I don't know how to put the pump back on, to be honest with you. So, but that's why we brought Jeff with us. But yeah. I'll start, I can start taking that off while y'all put the pump See on. See there, Jeff? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just now saying. Now you know the truth. I'm just saying. I don't know. I mean, I, you don't know. I, you actually Well, I mean, you I don't, help, I don't right? know either. But listen, let's send it back to Aerial Diesel because <laughs> they did something wrong. What'd they do? The color. Oh, they painted it green? Yeah. John Deere green. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, there you go. Y'all y'all have at it. I'm going to take the, uh, I'm going to take the uh, hydraulic thing off. This is just a union here. It should come off pretty easy, hopefully. I'm gonna get this pipe wrench on there. Jeff, you tell me what you need. Oh, we just need to get these off. <laughs> You need a pocket knife, Jeff? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. There you go. Other way. Right? No. No. No, you had it right. My bad. I ain't getting no. Uh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I ain't doing something right. Yeah. Let's don't even worry about that. Take those off and maybe that right there when you Oh yeah, there you go. Turn that around and come okay. straight up. Be too easy if I just unsplined in that way. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Anything I can do. See if we can work this hooked on the back side. Uh, you uh, wanna I got some picks, Jeff, would that help? Uh well I don't Here. I'll do that if you if you would uh-huh. You're ni- more nimbler than I am. Uh-huh. Do whatever you want me to. All uh-huh. right, sure. <laughs> Is that the new one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Need some PB blaster? Slick it up. I think it's got some fuel. You need me to shut up and let you <laughs> leave you alone? <laughs> That was the one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one side keeps motor oil from getting in the pump, and the other side keeps sure from getting in the motor, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Let me get out of there and take that piece. Let's see. Let me get this out of your way. Let me get this out of the way. Jeff, you just holler when you need help. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't got the Aflac now. <laughs> he was hollering. He just, he just he said was, holler. He was <laughs> hollering if he needed help. <laughs> I, I, I actually thought, I think when I told you to come over here, he needed somebody in there, but I guess... I guess he got it. 
with all that running and exercising you've been doing, you can fold up better than I can. That's right. You tell me and Jeff, well, you can just tell. <laughs> <laughs> we, we like ice cream after, the, after we eat. You ain't even joking. <laughs> Somebody don't buy ice cream, they skip it. Yeah. Uh, Hank, you're probably going to need to put your bucket back there because you're going to have some, probably quite a bit of it coming out. Okay. I got... got what, enough, you got another one? No, sir. I was just... I was going to say I did, but I don't. Okay. Maybe we can combine. I don't know. Hey, I can go empty. I can go empty that in my barrel. It won't be much. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. It actually looks like they would have put a female plumbing on that. Huh. Yeah. That uh, that you could twist. But they didn't figure anybody would stop put a drop a stick in the tank either, did they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one thing they probably didn't figure on. <laughs> on their engineering department? Yeah. Did you say, tell me that all injector pumps on John Deere's have that, that you've dealt with? Not all of them. Uh, the newer ones, like these, do. The 450s, the 350s are a little different. Right. Like that, that one older pump. Uh, like I was saying, it, it was built different where you timed it with the timing pin up right. here and the motor. And he told me just forget about that and he'll, and it worked. I'm talking about it. First time I'd ever put one on like that. But the rest of them are like this when I got this tool. Uh oh. Did they send a spare? What they do? Is, that, is it split? Yeah. It's split. You just use old one, I guess. Mm. Put the old one on there, it'd be all right. If we don't split it. You got one more chance after that one, don't you? I'll walk away gracefully. <laughs> Hey Jeff, you wanna come help me ruin my fuel pump? <laughs> <laughs> so if you're wondering why am I taking this off on the uh, hydraulic thing, if you remember a couple videos ago, Wiley tried to check the hydraulic fluid with a stick and he dropped it inside the tank. So guess who's fishing it out? It was either you or me, I can't remember. <coughs> Well, I know who it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's a heck of a. I guess you should have left it boated down, huh? Uh, you want me to put the boat in there? Uh, no, I think, I mean, maybe. I'll, I'll let you know here in a sec. Looks like you're moving it. Yeah. There we go. Well, welcome to the jungle. That one still got stuff coming out, Wiley. Just be careful. Good. Right. Greta! All right, Simon. I got you, Greta. Where's that new filter? That new filter's in it. I said, there's that new filter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wiley, that didn't work. Huh? That didn't work. That screen don't come out? Uh-uh. Got to. Uh-uh. I mean, that screen does. Well, there's the tank. <laughs> I thought you was talking about the other screen. Oh, my Lord have mercy. Uh, it ain't that bad. I mean, it's 
got some dirt in it. But, you know, but, I see the stick. You see the... You should be able to, on the inside of that tank too, did you look down there, cause that screen comes out. That's how, it's, that's how it sucks out right there. You need to change that screen too. There's the stick. Now let me ask you something while I... Ask me. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to pull out this, this, this union out here. Okay, I see, I see how we're working now. Yeah. You know that old one went on real good. That old one's on there, Hank. Looks like maybe some ice cream, Jeff. <laughs> we only have a scoop. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, might, you might just get uh, vanilla instead of chocolate and syrup. Now the pump. Now the pump. I, I'll hand it to you once you get set. Are you going to do it from there? I don't know if you can reach it and help him. Is the uh, dot lined up? With the... The, I think so, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, Y'all see you got the, the motor time. That's right? correct. Yeah. That window right there. We need to look at that line and make sure that line is lined up okay. with your timing mark. Okay. Mark. Okay. And that dot would meet this dot right here. There's a dot on the end of the... Wait a minute. There's a dot on the end of that? Yeah. There's a dot right, right up here. Right on the end. That's your timing dot. It goes to your pump. I brought the book. <laughs> That's all right. Wiley can't read anyway. That's not time the way he and I had it. Because we, we, we had both lines on it. Yeah, we got to time that back, the line back in with that to uh, match the dots. See, there's a dot in there inside your thing right there. See that dot in there? On the left side? It's right on where the end of your, in your, in your groove. See that dot in top? Uh, I do. Uh, yes, I do. That's got to be timed with this here. So we. That's like so a, we've got to line those lines back up okay. on your pump. How do you do that? You'll have to turn that. But isn't that isn't that kind of? Well, he's got it turned up, but. If that motor's timed, then that's how you time your pump. Okay. Well, you know more about this than I do. So we turn this. Mm-hmm. Turn it to your lines. What do I need to turn it with? What kind of tool? You see right. Yeah. There's a line on this wheel see, right here. You can mm -hmm. see it on the bottom. Yeah, we seen we we seen the um, when we done it, it was lined up on both sides. Yeah. Well, that's where you're you're in time. Okay. And then, you know, when you put your pump on there, of course, we're going to move it a little bit. What are we going to turn it with? Big screwdriver, or just okay. anything to, to line yeah. you. Big screwdriver, right? Let me, see. I, I, let me look inside of it. I see, see right there. Oh, you touched my hand. <laughs> okay, I got you. Would y'all like to look at the book? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, why start now? <laughs> <laughs> We can do that off camera so people don't think we actually know what we're doing. Jeff, I'm just gonna give you a little word of advice for YouTubing, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't be coming up here with books and stuff. We, we, we can't be having none of that. <laughs> well, I'm the kind of guy that likes to check myself every now and then. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, you know? that's, for, that's for rookies, man. Like that's for people that don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you and your books. Just, just come blind, son. Yeah. <laughs> Makes for better content. You get a lot more uh, comments That's that right. way. We're entertainers, Jeff. Well, I didn't want you to know this, but you know I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> See how easy yeah. that was? Yeah. See? <laughs> just come out with the truth to start You with. had us fooled. Yeah. Well, you're going to need that dolphin again. We are? Yes, because you got to make sure when we put this on, we're going to have okay. it lined in time. Thanks for telling me after the second screw, then. <laughs> I want you to get in practice. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's so tall. <laughs> All right. All right, you, you ready? Uh, maybe.
get this. Let's see. Got the, I don't think so. It don't feel like it's right. I wonder if I should take these fuel lines <clears> off. <throat> it definitely would have been a lot easier for you to have those, ho those yeah. lines out of the way for sure. That's for sure. Um. something or you just ain't it, got it, it yeah I just I just think I can't all the lines around it, right. can't okay. with the pump. I, if I can at least get these two you know the back ones so this you know. what, what is those uh, once you take them off the injectors they're good yeah I think. that's not mounted there on the throttle cable and all that brackets not mounted no they're all they're all just tied together with that bracket all right <laughs> I'll tell you what, if this thing was up about 10 more feet, we'd be in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody parked it in the shade, didn't yeah. they? I don't, I don't think there's a nut on the back side. No, there's not. I told uh, Hank that if he ever come across the 276 engine, at least a good block, I need one. Okay. I uh, I know where one is. An old case dozier, would that have that probably? A case? Yeah, 450 case, it's got a John Deere. Oh, was it a John Deere engine? Yeah. Yeah, as long as it's 276. It I believe work. that's what it would be. Mm -hmm. The whole case dozier is $1,500. And he's got a brand new, the uh, uh, bull gear went out on one side, mm -hmm. I guess, mm -hmm. or the whatever. Anyway, he bought one to go on it. Then he had a stroke and he just didn't huh. continue with his project. Let's see. I wonder if I take that off. I'm not sure we got it lined up on the first, on the, on the, on the dot. Where's that 11 16 on That boy now? I just got, I got to get these fuel lines off here. You going to pop them loose? Yes, sir. I got a stubby in there somewhere. Okay. I think it might be in the All top right. floor. Look at this here. No. Here you go. Yeah. But he would probably take $3,500 for that dozier. Yeah. Oh, golly, <laughs> that thing's on there. Yeah. Somebody put the paranus on it, didn't they? Any way I can pull down half of you? Um, or maybe a hammer. Uh, yeah, can we, can you pull down on that? Ready? There you go, it's coming. Can you give it? Don't make sure it ain't twisting. Okay? It ain't. Oh, has that, that ain't the kind that's got the nut behind it, does it? Uh, no, sir, I got solid? the, no, that's just a, because I've already took this one off. Okay. Here, I'll get you lined up here. Can you reach that? Yeah. Can you tap it with this thing and give him any? I don't think so. Impact, something happened. Yeah, it just slipped off on that. Let me get you back on there. Yeah, go, go back to there. Go. Can you reach that? It ain't twisting that. No, I'm watching the I'm watching the line. 
Oh, it, twi it, it twisted it. Darn it, it didn't twist the line. Well, we're not going to crank it today. Oh my gosh. What happened? Well, I've got a, a another injector there at the house. It, oh, that's the injector. Thank goodness. I think it might have been. No, that's the injector. They're all hooked. All right, so. What did it break the top off? Yeah, it twisted up where it goes into the. You see these things right here. I was looking. I was that's, they got a, a, that's what he was talking about. There, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I was looking at this. Yeah. Seeing if that was twisting. Yeah, that's what he was Look, asking you yeah. right there. See, it's got that, that nut on it right Oh, there. well, this one didn't turn. That's why. Uh, some of them do. Some of them don't do. Well, some of them, they've got a. No, I'm talking about some of them turn easy. Some of them don't. Oh, yeah, some of them you have to of, have Somebody that. tighten the. But the new ones, the ones we got put on the 350 the other day, They've got just a slot on each side for a wrench to fit. Yeah. But that's that's a nut. Or maybe it's slotted on just each side. That's what it is. It's just slotted on each side. But you got to put a wrench on that. To, yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you uh, do you want me to start taking out that injector, or we're we gonna try to get this pump put on first? Yeah. He's gonna have to hold that, squeeze that back. You come off. Yeah. That's the... right. Well, I came back to try to. Yeah. Line it back up. I mean, it ain't come up. Yeah, there you go. So it ain't lined up, evidently. Oh, wait a minute. Going. There, there, there you go. <sighs> it's just those seals. Yeah, you compression those seals. Is it hitting this stud right here? It's, uh, it's there. I don't, yeah, it, it's going. To the left a little more. No, that's way too far. Right, right there. Yeah. You'll push him off of it, ain't? Once you get it going. <laughs> Same spot. Well, it's the yeah. It, it, Actually, it went a little further, didn't it? Yeah. I think you go in now to. There you go. There it goes. All right. That's all it took. Just, just want to be pulled off. Now you're, times. now you're in the part where it would time, Hank. Hey. Yeah. Well, it. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's still in time. So now we can take the rest. We, we could take it with a screwdriver. The rest. Of, I mean, a bolt. The rest of the way, right? A nut. Now you got the. Like I say, you, you, you feel like you're in the groove. I do. You, okay. You yeah. feel like it's, you feel like I it's do. flying. Yeah. Well. Yeah, Gerald, we... if he's in the if he's in the spline, can I get on that flywheel and move it just a little bit and see if it turns? Yeah. We just hook up them two lines on one line. They'll never know. It just adds horsepower, right? More fuel to the cylinder like that. Green actually does go with orange. Yeah. It's like a. It's not a bad fit. It's like Halloween. Or is that orange and brown? Or red? Orange and red? I got me a new truck and I'm putting that forestry bed on it and that may be what I need to go over to get that dozer with. All right, you got a wrench for mm -hmm. me? What kind? Oh, the maybe 9 16 yes, sir. An eighth inch at a time. We can break things on our own. Don't need no help doing that. I just want it to fit in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do. Congratulations. You're hired. You do. I promise you. All right, Jeff, you say you want to twist this a little bit? Yeah. I mean, they if look it, perfect to me. If, if the lines are lined up. Yeah, they're perfect. Then you just snug it down. Tenfold. And you're, you should be set on your pump. So thanks again for Area Diesel for helping us with the fuel pump. They're, they are literally the best in the business. Not just because we use them, but 
because they know what they're doing. Their customer service is awesome. And they didn't actually pay me to say that. Y'all believe that? Well, I'm glad Jeff got that injector. I should have looked at all of it. I, since the other one went so easy, it fooled me, you know? Yeah. What kind of tool do I have that would be better than what I, you I don't really know. It'd be a very thin wall. Well, that's pretty tight. Yeah. And there you go. That's good. Almost broke the injector pipe, and I put so much pressure on it. <laughs> I seen the, I seen the metal, I seen the metal turn red. It was stressing out so much. I can't believe I'm actually trying this left-handed. I can't do nothing left-handed. You got 11 16 right there, ain't you? All right, I'm gonna go back downstairs here. Try to get that injector out. You need an extension? Yeah, pretty short one. Almost looks perfect. All right, let me separate these two. Put that in the trash. Get the valve covers. There's, there's three more on the other side. The valve covers? Yeah, you can't get to the boat that holds it down. The injector down. All right. Yeah, that's awesome. You see them? Okay. You see them? Yeah. Here you go. I'm glad this, ain't good that, thing about it, this is, Ain't uh, it great? Huh? Ain't it great? Yeah. Well, the good thing about it is the uh, cylinders in the way. What's the bad thing about it? <laughs> yeah, pre pre uh, pressure. I'm trying to, Hank. It'd be sweet if you had one of them. I got a, I got a cordless ratchet. And it's 90 like that? Yeah. It'd be sweet to have it here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me try that. Oh. All right, that should be it. Is that not it? Hold on a second. Let me see my. Oh, I think it works slow. If you go slower, it works a little better. There you go. Slow mode. One more. Oh, it's loose. I loosened it a minute ago then, huh? <laughs> I was playing with it with the other one. I just couldn't. All right, it got to a tight spot. Remember what happened last time we... Oh, look at that. It came right out. Of course it did, huh? <laughs> or it's coming right out, I should say. Have you haven't seen the playlist of us tearing this thing or getting it cranked up for the first time and then 
uh, bringing it home and all that stuff. Check that playlist out. It's got some pretty cool videos on it. And you'll, uh, and you'll understand the backstory of this fuel pump. That fuel pump was, uh, you know, was kind of, it was redneck engineered to get, actually get it onto the trailer. Can I start putting that plate back together? What plate? This, or do you want to wait till you get all the lines? Let's see. And the, do the small ones go on the other side of it? See how those are smaller? Oh, we should have took that other side out too. That's going to be a pain in Good the job, Hank. Way to think. That's why I'm leaving that for you. <laughs> the one on the back side? Yeah. We'll make Jeff do it. He's got experience. Yeah. See, if he had any experience, he won't be back. <laughs> hey, guys, want me to go to my house and get the... <laughs> we got suckers, didn't we? Yeah. All right. Where's the one that come off of it? Where's the one that's like missing off of it? Uh, right here. That's the one you broke? Yes, sir. All right. Let me see your screwdriver, please. We got all the fuel system buttoned up. Now we're going to start on the cylinders. Back when smoke was smoke, and grooving was grooving. My anti-theft device. Ready? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. 
I've got a little small tractor here that we're going to test it with. It's uh, about 1,500 pounds, but I've got the tires loaded, so it's probably 1,600 pounds. The reason why I'm not going any heavier than that is simply because I don't have the rigging. And so I'm hoping that I can just get the front axles chained here and the back axles kind of spread on that box blade and pick it up just for demonstration purposes. But anything, anything bigger than that, I just don't have the rigging. And so I don't want to try to, you know, mess up anything that I, my, my tractors that I use every day. So let's get this thing fired up. Let's get it, uh, and let's see if we can lift this uh, tractor up with it. Got the master key. That thing just purrs like a kitten, don't it? I'll talk about the steering in a minute. All right, let me see if I can get close to this here. Okay, let's uh, let's put a chain on this. Oh, I'm gonna have to lower it down some. Actually, yeah. And then, well, let me see if I can get the front chained up. Try not to scratch the paint. I'm a professional, so don't try this at home. That was a joke. All right. I just don't need it to, to teeter this way. It'll go straight up and down, but I don't need it to teeter left or right. I need to set those forks down just a little bit. But in order to set the forks down, I got to crank the machine. Okay, but we're getting there. Because that's just, I mean, just a smidgen. Just a smidgen too short. I wonder if I could lift the box blade up on this. Oh, I think it's already up as high as it goes. All right, let me set the forks down just a little bit. Let me back up some. All right, let me crank her back up. I gotta get that starter switch fixed. I think she was in neutral. block under there
thank you. All right, now let's see what we can do with that. All right, like I said, we I, I need to extend the booms out. Let's go out some with it. Try to get the chains as centered as possible. Do one more. Let's see what happens. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So I got to, uh, so, it, I mean, it, the, obviously the machine didn't even know it was there, but I don't want to drop my tractor, to be honest with you. This first time I've ever done something like that. A little scared, you know, I can't, you know, leave, say what you want to in the comments, but you can actually watch the whole playlist of us working on this lull, bringing it home and all that stuff. I'll link it right here. Take care. God bless you guys.